Uh, hi everybody, I'm Majid from Ozenink Engineering. So today I'm going to talk about photonic crystal big cell. Uh, as you can see here in this, um, in ANSYS Lumerical webpage. So you can find it by this link. So, uh, so why do we need photonic crystal? So actually in big cell, we require lateral mode control for higher optical performance communication and sensing system. So this can be achieved by uh, two-dimensional photonic crystal uh, cavity pattern to the, actually into the top of the DBR of the pixel. So first, uh, um, I will describe a pixel design and then uh, I will use a numerical mode to calculate the mode through the photonic crystal fiber to find it, how many mode we have. And then we will uh, run the simulation with numerical FDTD, both 2D simulation and 3D simulation to calculate uh, this spectrum and mode. And also you can find more detail of this structure in this reference. So let's start to, with the uh, Vixel structure. Uh, as you see here, we have a gallium arsenide substrate. So this is our gallium arsenide substrate. And we have a, a bottom DBR. These are uh, bottom DBR. It's made of aluminum gallium arsenide and we have active region. Our active region has two parts. I will describe why uh, we need two parts, but not for, we don't need actually for the lumerical mode and part of lumerical FTDD. So this is our active region. So our active region uh, the refractive index of active region is around 3.3 and uh, uh, the DBR uh, one here is 3. Point, I think is 0 0.6 and another one is uh, 3.49. So uh, this is our photonic crystal height. And uh, so as you see, if, if you look at by this way, we can see that two of this, this hole and this hole, you can see the outer of the design. So, uh, this is our photonic crystal structure. So the number of uh, ring that we see in this structure is uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The number of ring is six ring and we, we omit two ring. So you can see here, we omit two ring uh, of the photonic crystal. So uh, yes, that's, and this is our top DBR. So this is a whole structure of the Vixel design. And we can follow also, uh, the lumerical environment. So for instance, this is our substrate. If we right click on the substrate, we can see the this is the geometry of X span and Y span. And this is our material. It's, it's gas, gallium arsenide. And uh, this is our uh, uh, active region. So 
the refractive in this index of our active region is 3.3. And uh, uh, this is our bottom DBR. So the bottom DBR, uh, you can see here. Uh, you can see a different place of bottom DBR. So if we right click on layer one, you can see the material is 3.06. The, the layer two is uh, 3.49. So, uh, and also uh, hopefully, you can control the number of layer with uh, if you right click on photonic crystal, and if you go to the uh, properties part, you can see you can control the. For instance, in terms of photonic crystal, um, you can um, control the number of ring. I can increase the ring to eight. So you can see the number of ring increased to eight. So, uh, or uh, H number means that uh, the number of ring that we want to omit from the photonic crystal, for instance, if I put four, you can see that this number is, the number of ring is changes to four. So uh, let me, I put two, for instance. Um, you can change the number of top layer, for instance, 25, 4D. Uh, you can see the, so let me, I can. Zoom it and then change the number of a uh, layer to number of uh, uh, bottom top layer to, for instance, to 40. You can see that the number of top, top layer is increased to 40. And then go back to return, return the value to 25. you can see the number of layer decrease to 25 and also you can do it for for bottom layer and uh, and uh, other parameters you can put lambda and also dbr material and also if you go to the script we can if we are fam if we are familiar with the uh, uh, with a scripting language. So as you can see here, here we set the parameter, we define the target DZ with DBR layer, uh, we initiate the Z position, this is our substrate I described, our substrate is gallium arsenide, this is our top DBR, for the number of top DBR we create the um, the structure, this is for active layer, and this is for top layer, and this is for photonic crystal. So, uh, so this is the uh, whole structure of, uh, of the Vixel. So let us start with Lumerical mode. So this is a Lumerical mode. In the Lumerical mode, uh, we have the same structure, you can see here, same structure. So what we need in numerical mode, we need a solver. So this is a FD solver. So in FD solver, uh, you need to put uh, the just we want to do a 2D simulation, so we need to put the solver to 2DZ normal. So this is this is 
XY view. So we need to do simulation for 2DZ normal. So this is 2DZ normal. It is a geometry. In the mesh setting, this setting for the mesh setting. And for the boundary condition, uh, we put metal for the boundary condition. This is here for X min, X max, Y min, Y max. And uh, the material mesh refinement is conformal variant one. So why we need the metal as a boundary condition? Because we, 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 uh, we, we want to know how many modes, we want to know all of the modes which is supported to the photonic crystal. So then we can change it to the PML boundary condition and we can compare it with the with these two result together. Yeah, so, uh, so let's start with uh, the simulation part. So this I put the wavelengths at 0.85 and I want the number of 4D uh, mode. So near N and then so let's calculate the mode. When I calculate the mode, as you see here, we have a different mode. You can see that our cavity support different modes. So, I have around 40 modes. So, lossy and confined mode, as you see here, these are confined mode. These are uh, uh, this is our fundamental mode. So, uh, if we change uh, the the boundary condition to to PML, uh, PML, so we can see the number of mode uh, decreased and. Uh, So you cannot see the all of the modes. So for this kind of a structure, it better start with uh, boundary condition with metal, and then we can limit our calculation to piano. So as you see here, the number of modes is decreased to twelve. So, and all of them are confined mode. You can see this is a mode number, the effective index. Our effective index is 3.48, wavelengths, uh, our loss, you know, you can see that the loss value for these two modes are low, but when we move to the other modes, we can see that the loss value is increased. So these are very lossy modes. So, uh, and this is for, this is for instance TE and this is for T. This is the information of our effective area. And so, uh, the question is, uh, okay, because we have a multi-layer, so how we can consider the effective refractive index in our calculation? So uh, if we disable this structure, uh, if enable the, the, this geometry, you can see I put, I have a, Photonic crystal structure. You can see this is our photonic crystal structure. And regarding to the multi layer, I just I put a layer with the refractive index of uh, 3.260, which is the average refractive index of 3.06 and 3.49 and Three point three for the active region. So this is the average our refractive index. And if if we uh, run the simulation for this case, we can see that 
Uh, yes, we can see uh, active index is 3.25 and the loss value, this is the loss value and the TE, TM and, and effective index, effective area. So as you see here, the same thing, we can see that if we move to the other modes, we, we just, just the two first mode, loss value is it's, it's very low, but, but when we move to the uh, higher order mode, we can see the loss value is increased a lot. So now, oh, by this simulation, we, we have some idea that uh, how we can control the, our lateral mode uh, in Vixel. So next, uh, I will show you how we can run the simulation with the uh, numerical 2D FD, 3D for the Vixel.